प्यारे बच्चों नेचर विच कई हेलोजन मिलते हैं जिन्हों विच ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स होंगे हैं इना कुछ क्लीनिकली बहुत यूजफुल होंगे इन्ह कंपाउंडस का इंडस्ट्री और रोज़मर्रा की जिंदगी बहुत इस्तेमाल हों है ए रिलेटिवली नॉन पोलर कंपाउंडस लॉलवेंट्स का वाइड रेंज ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंडस न सिंथेसिस स्टार्टिंग मटीरियल्स वजो कम करते हैं और बॉडी प्रोड्यूस आयोडीन कंटेनिंग हारमोन थायरोक्सीन द डेफिशंसी ऑफ विच कॉज अ डिजीज कॉल्ड गोयटर सिंथेटिक हेलोजन कंपाउंड्स लाइक क्लोरोक्वीन इज यूज फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ मलेरिया हेलोथेन इज यूज एज एन एनस्थेटिक ड्यूरिंग द सर्जरी कुछ फुली फ्लोरीनेटिड कंपाउंड्स न सर्जरी के दौरान पोटेंशियल ब्लड सबस्टीट्यूट्स की तरह कंसिडर किया जाता है लैसन की डेप्थ विच जान तो पहला आओ अज के टॉपिक दे लर्निंग ऑबजेक्टिव डिस्कस कर लीए इस लैसन विच स्टूडेंट्स ये सब सीख गए क्लासीफिकेशन ऑफ हैलो एल्केन्स डिस्क्राइब द रिएक्शंस इन्वॉल्व इन द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ हैलो एल्केन्स डिस्कस फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ हैलो एल्केन्स डेयर स्टूडेंट्स की तुम जानते हो कि हैलो एल्केन्स के होंगे हैं कंपाउंडस के ना तो ही इस बारे आइडिया मिलता है कि कंपाउंड्स कंटेनिंग हेलोजन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स कंटेनिंग द सबस्टिट्यूएंट्स लाइक फ्लोरो क्लोरो ब्रोमो और आइडो आर कलेक्टिवली नोन एज हेलो एल्केन्स दीज कंपाउंड्स आर आल्सो रेफर्ड टू एज हेलोजन डेरिवेटिव्स ऑफ हाइड्रोकार्बन्स हेलोजिनेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन्स और एल्काइल हेलाइड्स ऑफ फ्लोराइड्स फ्लोराइड्स bromides and iodides the general formula of halo alkanes is as shown on the screen halo alkanes can contain different number of atoms of different halogens fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine since atoms of all halogens are regarded as substituents of the same type These compounds are classified as monofunctional. Fluoromethane, chloromethane, bromomethane and iodomethane. We must keep in mind that fluorine differs from other halogens in many of its properties, which is why we often limit our discussions to chloro, bromo and iodoalkanes. the replacement of hydrogen atom or atoms in a hydrocarbon aliphatic or aromatic by halogen atom or atoms results in the formation of alkyl halide or haloalkane haloalkanes contain halogen atoms attached to the sp3 hybridized carbon atom of an alkyl group thus haloalkanes are the organic compounds in which there is presence of one or more halogen atoms along with carbon and hydrogen these can be classified as shown on the screen you see on the screen that organic compounds containing halogen can be divided into two parts monohalides which contain single halogen and polyhalides which contain many halogens monohalides can be further subdivided into aliphatic and aromatic halides polyhalides can be further divided into simple and mixed polyhalides monohalides are the compounds in which one of the hydrogen atoms of any hydrocarbon is substituted by any one halogen atom aliphatic hydrocarbon if hydrogen atom is substituted from any aliphatic hydrocarbon it is called aliphatic hydrocarbon aromatic halide or haloarene if hydrogen atom is substituted from an aromatic hydrocarbon 
इट इज कॉल्ड एरोमेटिक हेलाइड और हेलोएरिन पॉलीहेलाइड्स आर द कंपाउंड्स इन विच टू और मोर हाइड्रोजन एटम्स ऑफ हाइड्रोकार्बन आर सब्सटीट्यूटेड बाय हेलोजन एटम्स सिंपल पॉलीहेलाइड्स इफ ऑल द हेलोजन एटम्स आर सेम दीज आर सिंपल पॉलीहेलाइड्स मिक्स्ड पॉलीहेलाइड्स If different halogen atoms are present in compound these are called mixed polyhalides Students aao hun monohalogen compounds aur monohaloalkanes aur alkyl halides bare vichar kariye We will learn about preparation of haloalkanes Let us first begin with halogenation of alkanes direct halogenation of alkanes in the presence of light heat or suitable catalyst give haloalkanes chlorine reacts with alkanes readily but the reaction with bromine is slower the reaction with iodine is reversible alkane reacts with halogens to form haloalkanes and hydrogen halide is formed The order of ease of displacement of hydrogen atoms is shown on the screen. Hydrogen atoms of tertiary alkanes are more easily displaced than that of secondary, which in turn gets displaced more easily than primary. Direct halogenation does not give pure monohalogen derivatives. Polyhalogen derivatives being also formed even when alkane and halogen are taken in one is to one ratio have a look at the equation on the screen methane reacts with chlorine in the presence of sunlight to form methyl chloride or monochloromethane and hydrochloric acid methyl chloride further reacts with chlorine to give methylene chloride or dichloromethane which in turn reacts with chlorine to give chloroform or trichloromethane and this chloroform too reacts with chlorine to give carbon tetrachloride or tetrachloromethane let me tell you that to get mono substituted product alkane should be taken in excess relative to halogen Let us now discuss the second method of preparation that is addition of halogen acids to alkenes Addition of halogen acids or HX to alkenes gives alkyl halides Ethene reacts with hydrogen halide to form ethyl halide However the addition of halogen acids to unsymmetrical olefins proceeds in accordance with markovnikov's rule thus secondary or tertiary alkyl halides are obtained predominantly as shown on the screen alkene reacts with hydrogen halide to form secondary alkyl halide in the presence of organic peroxides hydrogen bromide that is hbr reacts with unsymmetric alkenes contrary to markovnikov's rule this is also called peroxide effect or kharash effect as shown on the screen propene reacts with hydrogen bromide in presence of benzoyl peroxide to form 1 bromopropane aao hun haloalkanes nu prepare karan di method bare discuss kariye from alcohols the hydroxyl group of alcohols can be replaced by halogen if these are treated with halogen acids phosphorus halides or thionyl halides let us now discuss the method of preparation of alkyl halides by the action of halogen acids action of halogen acids on alcohols in presence of dehydrating agents such as anhydrous zinc chloride or concentrated sulfuric acid gives alkyl halides in almost quantitative yield hydrogen chloride along with zinc chloride is called lucas reagent and its reaction 
is known as Groves reaction. Students, screen te is equation nu dekhiye. Here we see that alcohol reacts with halogen acid in presence of anhydrous zinc chloride to form alkyl halide and water. The order of reactivity of alcohol for a given halogen acid is tertiary alcohol is more reactive than secondary alcohol which is more reactive than primary alcohol. Similarly, the order of reactivity of halogen acids for a given alcohol is hydroiodic acid is more reactive than hydrobromic acid which in turn is more reactive than hydrochloric acid. The iodoalkanes are usually prepared by refluxing alcohol with excess of hydroiodic acid but for the preparation of bromoalkane the use of sulfuric acid as catalyst is of advantage. Let us now learn about action of phosphorus halides. Chloroalkanes are formed when alcohols are refluxed with phosphorus pentachloride or phosphorus trichloride. The equation on the screen shows that alcohol reacts with phosphorus pentachloride to form alkyl chloride, phosphorus oxychloride and hydrogen chloride. Alcohol reacts with phosphorus trichloride to form alkyl halide and phosphorus acid. We will next learn about the action of thionyl chloride. Alkyl chlorides are formed when thionyl chloride and alcohols are heated in the presence of pyridine. Generally, we can say that alcohols react with thionyl chloride in presence of pyridine to form haloalkanes, hydrochloric acid and sulfur dioxide. Let us take an example to explain this better. Ethanol reacts with thionyl chloride in presence of pyridine to form chloroethane, hydrochloric acid and sulfur dioxide. This method is also called as Darzen's method. It is the best method for obtaining pure chloroalkane because the byproducts of reaction like sulfur dioxide and hydrogen chloride are gaseous which can be easily removed from the reaction mixture. Hun asi hello alkanes prepare karande next method bare discuss kariye. From silver salts of fatty acids. Silver salts of fatty acids when refluxed at 350 Kelvin in carbon tetrachloride with chlorine or bromine yield haloalkane. This is known as Hunsdiker or borodin hunsdiker reaction. Silver acetate reacts with bromine to form bromomethane, carbon dioxide and silver bromide. Let us now learn about halide exchange reaction. The iodoalkane may be obtained from corresponding chloroalkanes or bromoalkanes by heating with sodium iodide or potassium iodide in acetone or methanol. This reaction is also called Finkelstein reaction. Chloroalkane reacts with potassium iodide to form iodoalkane and potassium chloride. Similarly, Bromoalkane reacts with sodium iodide to form iodoalkane and sodium bromide. Students, hun asi properties of haloalkanes bare discuss kariye. Sab to pehla, general physical characteristics. Lower members like chloromethane, bromomethane and chloroethane are colorless gases while some of the higher members are colorless sweet smelling liquids but still higher members are odorless solids at room temperature. Iodoalkanes becomes violet or brown in color on standing because of decomposition in presence of light. Their physical properties resembles those of alkanes. Thus, they are insoluble in water 
and soluble in organic solvents like alcohol, ether, etc. Alkyl bromide and iodides are heavier than water. Their density is increased with increasing atomic weight of the halogen for a given alkyl group. That is, the density of fluoroalkane is less than chloroalkane, which is less than bromoalkane, which in turn is less than iodoalkane. Moreover, their densities decrease with increase in the size of alkyl group for the given halogen. The boiling points of haloalkanes vary in the order, that is, the boiling point of iodoalkane is more than bromoalkane, which is more than chloroalkane, which in turn is more than fluoroalkane. Moreover, the boiling points increase with the increase of the size of alkyl group. Hun asi general chemical characteristics bare jaanange. These are highly reactive in nature as halogen atom is a good leaving group and can be easily displaced by number of different groups. The order of reactivity of various haloalkanes for a particular alkyl group is iodo is more reactive than bromo which in turn is more reactive than chloro. These are known to form a variety of different products due to which these are good synthetic reagents. We will now discuss reaction of these compounds under different headings. The first one is nucleophilic substitution reactions. These react with variety of nucleophilic reagents and form their substitution products. For displacement of halogen, the attacking nucleophile has to be stronger than halide ion. This substitution of halogen can take place by two different mechanisms. These are unimolecular nucleophilic substitution that is SN1 reaction, bimolecular nucleophilic substitution that is SN2 reaction. The nature of the path followed in substitution depends upon nature of nucleophile, nature of solvent and nature of leaving group. Let us now discuss some of important nucleophilic substitution reactions. The first one is reaction with aqueous potash or moist silver oxide. Haloalkanes are hydrolyzed to corresponding alcohols by moist silver oxide or aqueous alkali such as sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. Bromoethane reacts with potassium hydroxide to form ethanol and potassium bromide. Let us now learn about the second method which is reaction with alkoxides or dry silver oxide. Haloalkanes on reaction with dry silver oxide or sodium alkoxides give ethers. With sodium alkoxides reaction is called Williamson's synthesis. Let us take an example to understand this better. Bromoethane reacts with dry silver oxide to form diethyl ether and silver bromide. Similarly, bromoethane reacts with sodium methoxide to form ethyl methyl ether and sodium bromide. Children, let us now learn about reaction of haloalkanes with sodium or potassium hydrosulfide. Thioalcohols or mercaptans are formed when haloalkane reacts with a sodium hydrosulfide. Let us take an example. Bromoethane reacts with sodium hydrosulfide to form ethane thiol and sodium bromide. Reaction with sodium or potassium sulfide. Alkyl halides react with an alkali sulfide or with sodium mercaptides that is NaSr to form thioethers. You can see on the screen that haloalkane reacts with sodium sulfide to form symmetrical thioether along with sodium halide. Similarly, haloalkane reacts with sodium mercaptide 
to form unsymmetrical thioether along with sodium halide. Let us take an example. Bromoethane reacts with sodium sulfide to form diethyl thioether along with sodium bromide. Bromoethane reacts with sodium methyl mercaptide to form ethyl methyl thioether and sodium bromide. Let us now have a look at reaction of haloalkanes with alcoholic potassium cyanide and silver cyanide. Haloalkane when heated with alcoholic potassium cyanide gave alkyl cyanide. Bromoethane reacts with potassium cyanide in presence of alcohol to form ethyl cyanide or propane nitrile and potassium bromide. On the other hand, when haloalkane is heated with silver cyanide, a covalent compound alkyl isocyanide is formed. For example, when bromoethane reacts with silver cyanide, it forms ethyl isocyanide and ethyl carbylamine and silver bromide. This difference is due to the fact that both sodium cyanide and potassium cyanide are ionic compounds and these on ionization give cyanide ion. This ion is an ambident nucleophile as in this ion both carbon and nitrogen atoms act as nucleophilic atoms. As negatively charged carbon is a stronger nucleophile as compared to nitrogen therefore with sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide, nitriles are obtained. On the other hand, silver cyanide has considerable covalent character and does not ionize appreciably to give cyanide ion. With this reagent substitution occur through nitrogen, an isonitrile is obtained as major product. We will now learn about Reaction of haloalkanes with silver salts of fatty acids RCOOAG. On heating with silver salts of fatty acids in ethanolic solution, alkyl halides yield acetyl. For example, silver acetate reacts with ethyl bromide to form ethyl acetate and silver bromide. We will next learn about reaction of haloalkane with potassium nitrite or silver nitrite. Haloalkane when treated with potassium nitrite gives alkyl nitrite whereas treatment with aqueous ethanolic silver nitrite gives nitroalkanes. Let us have a look at the equations on the screen. Haloalkane reacts with potassium nitrite to form alkyl nitrites. Let us take an example. Ethyl bromide reacts with potassium nitrite to form ethyl nitrite and potassium bromide. Also, ethyl bromide reacts with silver nitrite to form nitroethane and silver bromide. Children, now we will learn about reaction of haloalkane with sodium alkynides. Haloalkane, when reacted with sodium alkynides, these are sodium salts of alkynes in an inert solvent form, higher alkynes. Let us take an example. Bromoethane reacts with sodium acetylide to form 1-butyne and sodium bromide. Let us now learn about reaction of alkyl halide with alcoholic ammonia. It is also called Hoffman exhaustive alkylation method. Have a look at the equations on the screen. Alkyl halides when treated with alcoholic ammonia under pressure form a mixture of primary, secondary, tertiary amines and quaternary ammonium salts. Ammonia is a nucleophilic reagent because of the lone pair of electrons at nitrogen. It is for this reaction that primary and secondary amines 
2 act as nucleophiles and react with haloalkanes by nucleophilic substitution. Equation on the screen shows that bromoethane reacts with ammonia in alcoholic medium to form ethylamine with the loss of one hydrogen bromide molecule. This primary amine so formed reacts with another molecule of bromoethane to form diethylamine. The diethylamine formed further reacts with bromoethane to form triethylamine which again on reaction with bromoethane forms tetraethylammonium bromide. Let me tell you that to get primary amine as major product, ammonia has to be taken in excess. Lastly, we will learn about reaction of haloalkane with halide. Chloroalkane or bromoethane reacts with sodium iodide or potassium iodide in the presence of acetone or methanol to form highly reactive iodoalkane. It is also called Finkelstein reaction. Children, I hope you have understood nucleophilic reactions which we have learnt so far. Let us now learn about elimination reactions. This is also known as dehydrohalogenation as there is simultaneous elimination of hydrogen as well as halogen atoms from the molecule of haloalkane. We will first learn about reaction with alcoholic potassium hydroxide. Alkyl halides when boiled with alcoholic potassium hydroxide form alkenes by elimination reaction. The product of this reaction is corresponding to Sedzaf's rule. Let us take an example where bromoethane reacts with alcoholic potassium hydroxide to form ethene, potassium bromide and water. N-propyl iodide reacts with potassium hydroxide to form propene, potassium iodide and water. This reaction is also known as beta elimination because there is a simultaneous elimination of halogen atom from alpha carbon and hydrogen from beta carbon. Let us now have a look at few miscellaneous reactions of haloalkanes. We will discuss about the reduction reactions first. Haloalkanes on reduction with nascent hydrogen form corresponding alkanes. The nascent hydrogen may be obtained from tin or zinc and hydrochloric acid, zinc copper couple and ethanol or sodium and alcohol. For example, bromoethane reacts with nascent hydrogen in presence of zinc copper couple and hydrochloric acid to form ethane and hydrogen bromide. Iodoalkane when reduced with hydroiodic acid in presence of phosphorus give alkanes. Chlorides and bromides give relatively lower yield. The example on the screen shows iodoethane when heated with hydrogen iodide in presence of phosphorus forms ethane and iodine. This reaction is used for the preparation of pure alkanes. Let us now learn about Wurtz reaction. Haloalkane when heated with metallic sodium in dry ether solution give higher alkanes. The reaction is known as Wurtz reaction. Bromoethane reacts with sodium in presence of dry ether to form N-butane and sodium bromide. This reaction is useful for ascending the homologous series and for the preparation of higher alkanes. This reaction fails with tertiary haloalkanes since under basic conditions of the reaction, they prefer to undergo dehydrohalogenation to form alkenes. We will now discuss reaction of haloalkanes with magnesium. Haloalkanes on reaction 
with magnesium in dry ether form alkyl magnesium halides known as grignard reagents grignard reagents are organometallic compounds having carbon to magnesium metal bond and are very useful intermediates for the synthesis of wide range of organic compounds bromoethane when heated with magnesium in presence of dry ether forms ethyl magnesium bromide children now that we have learned so far let us learn reaction of haloalkanes with other metals reactions of haloalkanes with other metals also give useful organometallic compounds haloalkanes when heated with zinc powder in ether solution yield dialkyl zinc derivatives known as frankland reagents example on the screen shows that bromoethane when heated with zinc in presence of ether to form diethyl zinc and zinc bromide haloalkanes on heating with lead sodium alloy give tetraalkyl lead tetraethyl lead is used as an anti knock compound for petrol let us take an example equation on the screen shows chloroethane reacts with lead sodium alloy to form tetraethyl lead sodium chloride and lead haloalkanes on treatment with metals like lithium in inert solvents such as pentane give alkyl lithium compounds example on the screen shows n butyl bromide when heated with lithium in presence of pentene forms n butyl lithium and lithium bromide we now come to the end of our today's class we will learn about rearrangements of haloalkanes higher alkyl halides when heated under acidic conditions undergo molecular rearrangements to give isomeric alkyl halides for example one chlorobutane when heated with aluminum trichloride forms two chlorobutane neopentyl chloride or one chloro 2 dimethyl propane when heated forms two chloro 2 methyl butane children we have completed our today's topic based on preparation and properties of hello alkanes let us now discuss few questions for better understanding my first question is grignard reagent is prepared by the following reaction magnesium and alkane magnesium and aromatic hydrocarbon magnesium and hello alkanes zinc and hello alkanes the correct answer is magnesium and hello alkanes my next question is in the reaction ethyl alcohol plus hydrogen halide gives ethyl halide the order of the reactivity of hydrogen halide is as shown on the screen hydrogen bromide is more reactive than hydrogen iodide which in turn is more reactive than hydrogen chloride hydrogen iodide is more reactive than hydrogen chloride which in turn is more reactive than hydrogen bromide hydrogen iodide is more reactive than hydrogen bromide and hydrogen chloride hydrogen chloride is more reactive than hydrogen bromide and hydrogen iodide and the correct answer is hydrogen iodide is more reactive than hydrogen bromide and hydrogen chloride my next question for you is what is false for hello alkanes these are completely soluble in water these give nucleophilic substitution reactions these are insoluble in water or these are soluble in organic solvents and the correct answer is these are completely soluble in water these are water insoluble as these do not form hydrogen bonding with water molecules my next question the reactivity of alkyl halides depends upon the nature of halogen atom the nature of alkyl group both of the above 
or none of these? And the correct answer is both of the above. My next question for you is, Hans Dyker reaction is an example of decarboxylation, debromination, decarboxylation and bromination or bromination. And the correct answer is decarboxylation and bromination. My next question is, which of the following metals is used in words synthesis? Barium, aluminium, sodium or iron? The correct answer is sodium. My next question is, in the Darzen's process for preparation of alkyl chlorides, alcohol reacts with thionyl chloride in pyridine. Sulfuryl chloride in pyridine, hydrogen chloride plus anhydrous zinc chloride or none of the above. The correct answer for this question is thionyl chloride in pyridine. Children, my next question is which of the following reagents is used to step up carbon chain in alkyl halides? Your options are Hydrogen cyanide, potassium cyanide, ammonium cyanide or silver cyanide? The correct answer is potassium cyanide. My next question. The compound formed by the reaction of ethyl chloride with sodium lead alloy is tetraethyl lead, sodium ethoxide, ethyl sodium, no reaction. The correct answer is tetraethyl lead. I hope that you will the lesson enjoy the lesson today. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next class.